Welcome to the Make and Design Podcast. I'm your host, Karina Gardner. On this podcast, we're unraveling the everyday joys and dilemmas of design, making, and business. For makers who want to be designers and for designers who are makers, this is your inside scoop to help you grow your business and bring more creativity to your life. Hey guys, today we are going to talk about getting started as a surface pattern designer. Now, if you've been around on this podcast, you know I think you should be more than a surface pattern designer. But for many of you, this is where we actually do need to get started. This is the um, area of design you understand and know, whether it's textiles or scrapbooking or papers, or maybe you like gift wrap, like anything that's kind of flat. Maybe this is the area you want to get started in and you don't know how. How do we get started, Karita? So today I want to talk about that. Here are the three things I think you need to get started. And here is the deal. I also have a PDF for this. Last episode, I talked about free things. You do want all the free things. It's level one. So if you want to grab this from me, what I need you to do is to go over to my Instagram at Karina Gardner. Um, and I need you on whatever the last post there was, or you can DM me one of those others. I need you to put in the comments podcast seven. Okay. Podcast seven seven. So podcast seven will get you, there's a PDF I have called the seven tips no one will tell you about becoming a surface pattern designer. So you are going to want that PDF. So it correlates a little bit with what I'm going to talk about today. Um, but it's going to go a little bit deeper because I'm only going to talk about three things today. And actually they're not even the three things specifically on that uh, that uh, PDF. So you're gonna getting a two for one. We're gonna talk about getting started and then I want you to get these tips because I want you to have a realistic view of how you can move forward as a surface pattern designer, okay? All right, so I've got my notes here. Let's get going. So the first thing I want you to do is I want to, you to make sure that you like the software. Now, this is different than understand the software. So many times people get um, really caught up with like, well, I'm struggling in the software and it's hard to use, which by the way, you guys, like any new software you use, like I I remember learning, I was learning some font software a few years back and I was like, oh, going through this process, it just sucks. It really does. But once I kind of got a handle on it and kind of figured things out, I was like, okay, awesome. I've got this amazing new skill that not very many people have. That's the way you need to look at the Illustrator software. So if you want to become a surface pattern designer, we've got to start an Illustrator. I hear all the time and you know, I'm DMing with people all the time and talking to design bootcamp members and so many of them are still working in Photoshop. You guys, if you are still working in Photoshop or Procreate, that's the other one, those two, you are selling yourself short. And if you've been wondering why you haven't been able to hit 50,000 or why you haven't been able to hit 100,000, I guarantee that your knowledge of software is contributing to that, okay? And so, like so many times they come to me and they go, can't I just use Photoshop? And I'm like, well, it'll only take you so far, so you can, but just know you're stuck at a certain point, okay? What you need to know how to do is create vectors, and that's in Illustrator. And actually, I had a friend recently who owns a gymnastics company, and she was like, oh my gosh, I I have this, my logo, and our designer only gave it to us a PNG, and so all I have is this PNG file, and of course, we need to make it bigger, and I don't have a vector and and I said just shoot it over to me it took me five minutes to correctly put together and I say correctly because oh my gosh you guys the number of like you know once you vectorize something it comes in a certain way you got to fix it you got to make it work well and the number of designers I know who will just vectorize it and think it's good to go and then hand it off and it's just so unusable you guys So there are things you can do to make that really, really good. But that's what I'm talking about. These designers that are handing over things like just PNG files. And I'm like, there was no EPS file. There was no AI file. Um, You guys, I want you to be the top of the line designers. I want you to be the smart designers. When I have a client and I know I don't want to work with that client again, or I know it's a one-time project, I don't want them coming back to me in a year and going, hey, my sign producer says I need an EPS file. And then you go digging through your gazillions of files, because I promise you will have gazillions. 
and looking for that file that you can't find, right? It's just better to hand off the EPS file right from the get-go, okay? So that that's what I'm talking about. Just the level of making sure that you know what you're doing, okay? So now let's get back to liking the software. So um, we do this, illustri- we do a couple of Illustrator um, little trainings in um, in Design Bootcamp. And one of them, we design a ladybug together, okay? And usually this is my test because we have a lot of people who are brand new in Design Bootcamp and they're scared because they don't know the software. And actually software is not an issue. You can come into Design Bootcamp as long as you know this is what you wanna do. And I like this particular test. I'm like, go take the 10 minute Illustrator class with me on this ladybug. And they do. And I'm like, okay, how did you feel while you did it? Okay. And sometimes they're like, oh, I just hated it. It was just like so hard. It was so difficult. And I'm like, design is not for you. Like this is a good place to stop right here and go find something else to do. Okay. But most of the time people come back and they're like, oh, that was so easy. I just followed along with your steps. I was able to make a ladybug. I've never made anything like that before. And it was so cool to see it all digitized and like ready to go. And I'm like, okay. You like the software and you like the tutorial, which means you're teachable, right? There's nothing, there's nothing a a professor or a mentor likes more than having teachable members or teachable students because I'm like, ooh, if you can follow the instructions there, I can teach you a lot, a lot. And that gets really exciting. So the first thing I need you to figure out is do you like the software? Now, If you don't know yet and you've never opened the software, there is a free one week trial on adobe.com and you can go there and go ahead and get the free trial and go take some free tutorials online. If you want some free Illustrator tutorials and want to see if you like it you and you haven't come to a design bootcamp, go to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Karina Gardner. Just scroll down, you'll see Illustrator tutorials. Go click on one, go make a, I think I have like a witch's broom or go make a leaf with me or make a, um, a shoe with me. Come do something and then follow the steps and see if you like the software. I'm not saying it's not gonna be frustrating, but did you enjoy the process, okay? If you like the process, we can move on from there, okay? So how to get started, step two. So step two is you've gotta figure out how to make money. So if you want to become a fabric designer, what do you have to do? You got to go research manufacturers. You got to find the creative directors. You have to like make and design stuff and know who you're going to send it to, right? Now, maybe you're not in the stage yet, right? Because you just are learning Illustrator that you're actually going to send stuff to those fabric manufacturers. But your first, your second step is to know how you're going to make the money. Second of all is you've got to know how much money is there. If you don't know how much fabric manufacturing costs, like if you don't know how much you can make as a fabric designer, you're already losing. You got to figure that out. Okay, how do you figure that out? Usually you have to go to something paid like a design boot camp. Usually I tell people how much I make in those certain areas. And that helps give people a realistic view of what, you know, what the whole thing is all about and really where there is money to be made. Does that make sense? So you've got to find out that inside scoop just like the surface level inside scoop. So you can make some decisions about like, how are you gonna actually get paid? And by the way, in Design Bootcamp, we talk a lot about marketplaces and getting paid. So we don't give you the actual shops, but you can start thinking about different ways in the marketplaces that you can learn design and you can learn how to get paid, right? So that's why I love Design Bootcamp and that's why we know it's like, you know, it's really inexpensive um, and we give you like $500 of value because we're telling you all the things that will make you decide whether yes, this is the career for me or no, there is no way I'm gonna do this with my life, okay? So I think it's a really great place and in the end of the, at the end of the day, I think it can save you money because if you figure out that design is not for you, you've saved yourself thousands of dollars of taking online courses that teach you fabric design, online courses that teach you watercolor design, online courses that teach you how to make prints, right? You are saving yourself tons of money if you realize, oh, this is not for me. If at this low price you figure out, wait, this is for me, then you can make the choices that make sense so that you can become 
an expert designer, whether you're joining one of my masterminds in design suite, or you're going off and teaching some, getting information from like a, like a DIY online course, right? Because those are the things that are going to help you get to the next level. That's, that's my hope anyway. All right. So figure out how you're going to get paid, figure out like kind of what avenues and get, go out of your way to get that information. You guys get that information if you can. All right, the third thing you need to do is you gotta join a program. Now, if you were young, I would tell you, you need to go to college. You need to go to university, go get a four-year degree. Go get a two-year degree. Go learn the things you have to learn to become a great designer, okay? If you are not young, if you're my age, (laughs) we're young at heart, right? Um, Then I would recommend you need to do some online courses. You need to join a mastermind or you need to join a program where you're actually gonna get mentorship. If you are going after those DIY courses, and when I say DIY courses, I'm talking about a course where you don't actually ever talk to, have interaction with the mentor or the person who's in charge of the program, I am telling you right now, you are losing out, okay? Because you need mentorship. You need someone looking at your artwork to know if you are on the right track. You just do. That's what we do in a university classroom. When you are sitting around 20 people in a classroom, we're taking graphic design foundations. Everyone's doing a typography project. We, someone starts they show their project and then the professor helps lead a peer review and critique of your work. And it is not scary. It shouldn't be scary because all it's going to do is make you think about how do I make this better? How do I change the focal point? How do I use the negative space a little better? How can I make this stronger, right? That's what you need because here's the problem. If you go take a course and you're just taking that course and you're just doing the stuff along with the professor, right? Or the mentor or the online leader, you come out of it. What have you gained? Hopefully some skills. Hopefully you know Illustrator better or Photoshop better or InDesign better. But there's a good chance you haven't actually leveled up your design work. Does that make sense? You've leveled up your skills, but have you actually leveled up your design work? And that is the thing I see missing every day of the week from all the programs out there. And it's not because they're not bad, they're not good programs. They're actually excellent, you guys. Like I think these programs are phenomenal because your skills up level, which we need your skills to up level. But what you also need is your design work to up level, okay? And most of that is really only coming through mentorship of some kind, like a mastermind or a university or college program. Okay. And I'm a proponent of both of those things. Okay. Like someone can come to me and be like, I think my child is, you know, should they take your program or should they go to the university? I'm like, go to a university. (laughs) They need that atmosphere to learn, especially at that stage in life. However, if you're not in that stage of life, then an online mastermind program is probably the best fit for you. Okay. All right, you guys, those are my three tips. If you want that PDF, seven tips that nobody will tell you about becoming a surface pattern designer, just run over to my Instagram feed at Karina Gardner. And all you have to do is put in the words podcast seven, podcast seven, and you can put it on just the most recent post. And I will make sure and link over to you a PDF that you can just download in the DMs pretty simple, right? You can also DM me if you have questions about that. And I would love to just send you that link there as well. All right, guys, I am look for, looking forward to seeing so many of you. Design Bootcamp is next week, I believe. And so if you have not registered and you want to come join me, it's at karinagardnercourses.com slash design bootcamp. We have a phenomenal time. We talk about all the things that people are not talking about in the design world. It's your inside scoop for a very, very low price. And I look forward to getting to know you there. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.